Guys, it turns out that Arby's was always lying when they said, we've got the meat. Because they didn't. But now I think they do. Guys, Arby's is selling burgers. I never thought I would see the day. Now, maybe they have in the past, I don't know, but I do not remember them selling burgers whatsoever. So they are brand new. They just came out today and they are Wagyu burgers. Now, Wagyu meat is a really fancy cow, I think from Japan, that has like a lot of fat in it, like marbleized fat that apparently makes a really delicious burger. They have two burgers, guys. There is the um, Deluxe Wagyu Burger and the Bacon Ranch Wagyu Burger. So the Deluxe Wagyu Burger has a Wagyu beef burger with American cheese, shredded lettuce, tomato, pickles, red onion, and a special burger sauce on a toasted buttery brioche bun. And then the Bacon Ranch Wagyu Burger has, of course, all the same toppings besides the burger sauce. They swapped the burger sauce with Parmesan peppercorn ranch. And of course there's bacon on this as well. So I'm so pumped. Plus I'm trying Arby's new orange dreamsicle, um, like milkshake, which might not be brand new. Like they might've had it in the past, but it's back. And, um, it's my first time trying it. So I'm so pumped. I love orange cream, anything. Zaddy. Okay. Let's unbox the food. By the way, guys, you might notice I have a star on my eye right there. And I'm really upset about it. This is like not good. I've been having like a couple different styes in the past couple weeks on my eyes. This is the worst one though. And I think it's because I'm trying these new um, eye wipes. I have dry eye. So I use um, eye wipes to take like my eye ointment out of my eye. It's hard to explain. And I tried this new brand and I think that it, it's, it's just giving me eye styes. So I stopped using it yesterday and I hope that they go away. Anyways, let's go um, give me a straw for the milkshake. Not good for the earth, but it's good customer service. <laughs> I mean, I do need a straw, so. Ooh, it's orange creamsicle moment. Okay. Creamy, dreamy. I feel like it isn't well mixed because some sips have a very strong like orange soda flavor and then others have a stronger ice cream flavor. It's just not mixed enough. Get mixed. But when they come together, it tastes really good. It does taste like a nice classic orange cream flavor. Good texture, thick, but still, oh my God, no. Oh. oh my god, it's not going away, guys. Oh. Brain freeze, sorry. That almost made <laughs> that almost made my sty burst. Oh my goodness. It's good. Not the best orange um creamsicle flavor ever. It does taste a little artificial. Almost like a Orange like popsicle that's been melted, but like a really cheap popsicle. Oh my God, another one. What is happening? Uh. Oh, this one's worse. One second, I have to pace. Sorry, my God, this is really, really cold. Okay, so I'm gonna give the orange creamsicle milkshake um, a 6.5. It could be a lot better. Something about it isn't hitting right for some reason. Anyways, let's open these burgers. Oh my goodness. <gasps> They're big, they're heavy. Oh, prices, prices, guys. The deluxe was $5.99 and the bacon ranch one was $6.99. I feel like those are typical Arby's sandwich prices, honestly, like the big sandwiches. Before we start, subscribe to my channel, to me to take out for more fast food reviews. These are brand new, came out today. I'm on point. I'm gonna taste these, give you my honest opinion and rate them from one to 10. Ah! Let's unbox them. I'm nervous. This one feels heavier, it probably has bacon. Let's open this one first. The deluxe, probably. <gasps> Whoa, that patty! It's thick and intimidating. <laughs> oh my God. Sir, calm down. Look at that. It's just so thick. It looks really homemade and kind of overcooked. Like it looks very, very, very dark, but it's a pretty good size, guys. Like, wow. And here's the, all the toppings but they're on the bottom. So they're the bottomings. 
We got, I think I've made that joke in the past. So iconic. Um, so yeah, I see the cheese, I see the tomato, I see the lettuce, I see the um, burger sauce. Oh wait, sorry. This is the bacon ranch one, because it has bacon. So that's great. I see some ranch underneath there. Now let's check out the deluxe one. I'm like so nervous, like guys, Arby's has burgers. Like, what is life? Honestly, this is so exciting. Okay, looks the same, but just, ooh, that burger sauce. Very orange. There's a lot of it. Impressed. This one's messier for sure. It has a big chunk of lettuce just hanging out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me get a napkin. My hands are a mess. Okay, so, oh, thumbnail, thumbnail. Let's first try the deluxe with the burger sauce. I'm so nervous. Okay, so I think that I have had a Wagyu burger in the past, I think at uh, Burgerfy. And I think I liked their normal burger more than the Wagyu one. It was very chewy, oh, very chewy. So let's see how this is. I'm so excited. That's different. Um, so that's how it looks inside. Honestly, it looks like a sit down restaurant burger. It does, like the size, everything. It really feels like that too. It's so different than any other fast food burger. I'm just kind of shocked about that. <laughs> oh my God. I was attacked by a slice of tomato. Okay. Okay. This is messy. Okay. So, wait, let me try the Wagyu by itself. Hold on. With onions. Wow. Okay. Wow, I'm just kind of in a state of shock. So first things first, it's thick. It's meaty and thick, but not in a bad meaty, like fatty tasting way. It tastes like fresh, good meat, okay? The texture is a lot softer than your typical burger patty. It's like more of the texture of a meatball like with breadcrumbs and like eggs in it, all that stuff, then a burger patty. So that's very interesting. It kind of threw me off at first, but I got used to it. I'm not used to fancy things. <laughs> I'm used to trashy, rubbery, hockey puck patties. Um, the flavor. When, it, when it's by itself, I think it tastes a little bit better. Um, you can really taste it. It just tastes like fresh meat. But for some reason, it might be the sauce. No, it's not. For some reason, when it's with all the toppings, it has a really strong black pepper flavor. And I love the flavor of black pepper, but this is over like powering. It's very, like it isn't subtle. It's like black pepper. It's almost like the flavor of chewing on a black pepper, like ball, like little kernel things, whatever they are, little seeds. It's like that flavor, but 
without the texture. It's, just, it's a very strong black pepper flavor. And I would say it's a bit too salty too. So overall, I think it has too much salt and too much pepper. <laughs> but otherwise, it does have a very fresh meat flavor. Um, I'm impressed with the quality. I am surprised that it actually does taste more fancy than your typical burger. It actually does taste like something that like, you know, it tastes like the title Wagyu. No, <laughs> Wagyu, Wagyu, Wagyu. It kind of tastes like what you think it'll taste like, like fancier. Um, but I just don't know if I love the amount of salt and pepper and I don't really love the texture. It's different. I think that if you are a foodie and you want to try a different fancier fast food, it's perfect for you. Um, I don't know if I'd get it again. I, I just prefer my cheaper patties to be honest, but it is different. It lives up to the name and the texture is very soft. Oh, also the toppings all taste great. Now the um, sauce, like the burger sauce didn't have much flavor. It kind of tastes like a super, super, super tame Big Mac sauce, but like less good. And um, the bun tasted great too. So overall, I think I'm gonna give the Deluxe Wagyu Burger a 5.5. It isn't bad whatsoever. I just wouldn't get it. I just wouldn't get it again. Sorry guys. <laughs> um, so yeah. <laughs> Um, next up, let's try the bacon ranch version. This one's much more put together. The, like, this is the classy sister, okay? missing seasonings that aren't salt and pepper. I don't know. Okay, this one has way less flavor than the other one. And I think, I didn't realize it before, but that burger sauce did a lot of the heavy lifting in the flavor department, because this ranch isn't cutting it. And it tastes much less flavorful, um, like, for some reason. The ranch really doesn't pop here. And the bacon, I can barely taste it over the Wagyu beef, to be honest. Yeah, like it doesn't come through past the Wagyu. <laughs> that rhymed. It doesn't come through past the Wagyu. Even by itself, the bacon's really <laughs> flavorless. It just tastes like, like a pork rind. Why does it taste like a pork rind? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. So overall, the bacon tastes like a pork rind. The ranch doesn't come through. And the meat really doesn't have enough flavor on its own. But somehow it like overpowered everything else. It's hard to explain. Like it has a meaty flavor that does take over. But it doesn't have the seasonings that make it enjoyable. Does that make sense? Um, so overall, because this one didn't have that burger sauce, I guess that that burger sauce really was that girl. Like it came through and this bacon ranch one did not have it and it just did not have the small amount of flavor that the other one had. This one has just no, no real flavor. I don't know. And it's the bacon ranch one guys. Like it should be better. Let's be honest here. Wow. I'm gonna have to give the bacon ranch one a 4.5 out of 10. It's a nice quality meaty burger, but 
it's not that enjoyable, at least in my opinion. There's not much flavor. So overall, I'm quite disappointed in these Arby's burgers. I think that, you know, they did choose quality, which is good, but they, but like, I feel like the, the I feel like they chose quality over flavor. And I'm a type of girly that's like, I don't care if something's like really processed and all that stuff. I would rather it taste really, really good, like McDonald's, <laughs> um, than have like a fancy item that I'm not enjoying. Cause then what's the point of like paying the price for a fancy piece of meat if it's not seasoned, besides with like tons of black pepper. So let me know in the comments below. Do you guys plan on trying Arby's burgers? And if you do, tell me all of your thoughts. And if you don't live near an Arby's, how does the meat quality look to you? Let me know. Um, subscribe to my channel to me take out for more fast food reviews and full menu taste tests. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Ooh, boo, boo.